Hey everybody, today I am looking absolutely insane. I get it. I went way too heavy on the eye makeup and I couldn't do anything with my hair so I had to put it up and I'm just looking like a mess. But I thought today would be a great day to try out a product that I've been really, really wanting to try but I've been putting it off because I just didn't know how to try it yet. So I'm just going to jump right into it and see if this video will be a success. So the product that I'm going to be trying is a sample of Too Faced's Mascara Melt Off. Looks like this. I'd received it in a uh, Sephora Play subscription and I've been really, really wanting to try this. I just haven't been able to yet. So I am wearing a bunch of different mascaras right now. Um, they're all waterproof, so I don't really know if this is gonna work, but it says that it's supposed to remove waterproof mascara. It is actually considered a cleansing oil waterproof mascara dissolver. It doesn't have the ingredients in it, but I'm sure the full size probably does. Um, you open it up, it looks like this. It's like a plastic wand. Doesn't, it's not, it doesn't really smell like anything. So I thought because I'm wearing really heavy mascara and it's all waterproof, why don't we just try it out? I guess let me just jump right into it. Um, I'm gonna move closer. I'm gonna try to anyway, so you can kind of see how it looks. So I'm just gonna run this like a mascara over my mascara. I'm gonna go over it too. Now it says it should almost come off instantly. But I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and I'm gonna let it sit for a minute while I put it on the other eye. It's really wet and putting it on it's like dripping down my face a little bit in little droplets, like it's raining. Now I only have mascara on my upper eyelashes, I don't have them on the bottom. Okay, so I can tell that they are getting softer. I don't really have anything to wipe my eyelashes off on except for this swatch rag I use for swatches and lipstick and stuff. So I'm just going to use this. I'm going to use this plain bit right here. You can see it's clean. And I'm just going to start blinking on it and see if anything comes up. Um, a little bit. You can see some black residue, but nothing's coming off like seriously. Like that. That much is coming off, but like not super seriously. Hmm. A little bit, but it's, you can see I still have mascara on. Let me apply a little bit more and see if maybe I just have to have a very heavy hand with it. I can see in the mirror here, there's a light here and I can see in the mirror that my lashes are completely coated. I mean, they're wet, you can see. I don't know if you'll be able to see. But they're completely wet, you can see. The reflection. These lashes are completely coated. I don't know if you can see, but I mean, Look at the oil dripping down. I mean, they're completely coated, so if it doesn't come off, I don't know. I'm gonna use this right here. All right, so that's how much I was able to get off, but if you look at this eye, I still have mascara on. I don't know. I coated it on both sides, and it's still just... I mean, you can see the difference in the eyelashes. This eye definitely looks like it has less mascara now than this side. But there's still mascara, and it's definitely having a tr it's having trouble. I mean, I don't want to have to really scrub my eye, because that's just going to hurt me and my lashes and my skin and my eyes. I don't know, but I'll try it. I mean, I'll try to really scrub. Um... With what's on this one, this is still super, super wet, as you can see. So I'm just going to use this part, and I'm going to really, really scrub. My, I'm, I'm telling you, my makeup is going to be messy, because I'm just going to scrub it like I'm taking it all off. Maybe it'll be more successful like this. Oh, 
I still have mascara on. I still have mascara on. Like it's still not coming off. So this is what I'm gonna do guys. Getting down and dirty with it now. I'm getting frustrated. This isn't working. I'm getting mad. So I'm going to literally rub it like all over <laughs> my eyes, my lashes, everything. Cause this just is not working well. Like if I had to go through this, I'll just use regular makeup remover or I'll use coconut oil. I just did a hack on that. Hack it or trash it. Freaking coconut oil and water. Do that instead of this because this, and plus this is so expensive. I mean, granted, I didn't spend money on it because I have a sample, but I mean, it's still so expensive just to use an oil. All right, let's see. I literally put it all over my eyes. I know it's going to take it off now because I did this, but you shouldn't have to go through all this. If they're do like saying that it's like a miracle mascara melter. And oh my god, it still hasn't even taken off this mascara all the way. I still have mascara on. I mean listen, I would love my natural lashes to look that good, but they're not they don't. I can tell that, that still has mascara on them. I mean, you can see how hard I have to rub. I am rubbing hard. This is very frustrating for me because why spend like 20 something dollars on this when you can literally use, co use coconut oil? It's ridiculous. No other makeup, like coconut oil would not leave all of this black smear everywhere. Guys, this isn't, this isn't good. I don't know. This one might take everything off. But I shouldn't have to do it seven, like six times to get everything off. Like you can see, I'm putting a lot on. I'm not just putting on nothing. Like I can feel like in my lash line that there's still mascara. Um, but like the mascara that was on the ends of my lashes is off now. Just this time. I don't like this. And I can usually find something positive about products that I don't like. But guys, uh, just use coconut oil or go and buy for $6 makeup removing wipes that can take off waterproof mascara. Like the Garnier Cole ones, the charcoal ones that I like. This doesn't work. I guarantee you what took off the mascara more was me just rubbing really, really hard. Ugh. Now my eyes are red and they hurt. That didn't work out the best. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, have you tried this? Has this worked for you? I don't know. Am I using it wrong? Because it says just run it over your mascara. So, I don't think I'm using it incorrectly. But if I am, please feel free to tell me. Um, otherwise, this video has been concluded. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are a new subscriber, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you enjoyed being a part of this channel. And if you want to be subscribed but you don't know how to be subscribed, click the red subscription button. It says subscribe and you will see every video I post when I post it. I will have the link for this stinking product in the description as well as with my social media links. So check those out if you're interested. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.